Alright, welcome back to Lord of Arcana. Uh, last time we dealt with some bullshit quest. This time I'm hoping... This is, this is going to be a tough one. Uh, Bell checked in Shire. I don't know what to expect from this. Let me check to see what we got. I see Phantom, the Sapling Spook, Griffin Nemesis. Great. I have a bad feeling about this. So I guess let's do this. Uh, I, if you don't, if you remember, I stocked up uh, on all my stuff at the end of last episode. Um, the new Mellow Woods. God damn, this is not going to be pleasant. I can just tell right now. This is going to be far and away a pain in the ass. So don't expect the happy Steve right now, right? Just don't. It's not going to happen. There, if if you had to take a bet on what would happen first between me being happy and um, I don't know something else, I definitely go with something else because this is not going to be a happy time. How do I know it was going to make me fucking fight him? Do not. All right, good. It's easy enough to escape from. So this is a 60 minute quest, which is not pleasant for me. Um, not one bit. Alright, so... Let's see if we can get past the sushi man. I wanted to get a sneak attack on it, but that didn't work out. Oh, and two phantoms. Awesome. Alright. This is going to be all sorts of difficult. I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this. Um, like, I can't get... So that didn't take long. Um, I knew this shit was going to happen too. Because the fucking phantoms are the biggest pain in the ass. It's like a side monster. One of the things. It just. I. Ugh. The speed of the griffin doesn't seem to be as much of a concern to me right now. Oh, fuck, do not want that. Fuck. Every time I turn my head, uh, I try to kill one of these things, the griffin's loading up with attacks to kill me. Uh, not what I wanted to do. So, you guys can imagine how frustrating this is. This is a complete bullshit quest right now. Um, when I saw Griffin Nemesis, I, I thought badly of it. Um, was not expecting them to throw in two annoying-ass phantom things. Uh, which is like exactly what they did. At this point, I'm just trying to keep them off me until I get... Alright, you know, I might have to just stop right now and go pick up uh, mana crystal or something like that so I can have Chikemi for this, because... Yeah. This is getting out of hand. Fuck you. Alright, you know what? I can't even get out of this fucking nightmare that I'm trapped in. I need to go buy Mana Crystal because that is the only way I'm going to make it through this. 
Because I need to be able to kill those two phantoms before they do anything. Because they are right now kicking my ass. If I can get a one-on-one -on -one with, with the Griffin Nemesis, it's not a big deal. It's... I've dealt with the Griffin Nemesis before, yeah. I'm just gonna... Let this happen. I'm just trying to get... So I get to, uh, to Kemi out right now. Shit. so that I can kill these things and move on with my life. And why wasn't the griffin doing this before? Yeah, if I had mana crystals, this uh, shit wouldn't be flying. I wouldn't have lost as much as I have already. It's I'm going to just sit here and fire on the griffin. Maybe I can kill it relatively quickly. Judging by... How things are going, maybe not. Alright, dude. Pick a fucking direction. Stick with it. You know. Alright, so we're doing super well right now. We're out of sacrifice charms uh, and everything we might need to kill Hectonshire Belch. Considering he's as tough um, as the other upper tier bosses that I fought so far, uh, including Agni Akai, which is possibly still one of the hardest things I've fought in this game. Yep. Because griffins are a pain in the ass when they are combined with other things. That's the only time they're really too much of an issue. Otherwise, they're not terrible. Um, and that can be seen via what happened start this quest. I was thinking I was going to just uh, abandon the quest and go grab Mana Shard, but if I want to get through this fight, I might as well at least give this a try. Um, I, don't, how, I don't hold much hope because of it being Belch Hectonshire, but uh, I, I'm always one that's willing to stand and give it a go, regardless of how bleak something looks. Um, if you watch my Binding of Isaac Let's Play, you know that by now. Lots of people will just drop a run if it look if it's looking too slim. I really won't. I'll stand there and try my best even with the worst setup. That ain't something. Uh, something, something or other thing. Get the fuck away from me. Okay. Fucking bitch. You suck on my balls. Oh, we are the sushi man. We will come and eat all of your sushi. Alright, so I don't remember what door unlocked. 
I'm not really sure what to expect. Um, I don't know why I did that. Some Steven. My knee just popped. Get away. I'm not sure where this thing is. All right, load, please. Thank you. So we got nothing here. Oh, how did I figure you're gonna have me fight a sapling spook too? My advantage. Let me guess, mixed with a griffin or something, or phantoms. You know, those things work too. Okay, good. He's dead, which is very important. All right. Thankfully, I think Sapling Spook is pretty simple, um, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure it wise to stand in sniper stands and shoot him in the face that way, but I'm going to give it a go. Okay. Whew! Such an angry fellow. Fuck, he's not messing around. Good news is, he can't really get to me. He seems to be in a mood right now. Right then, dude. Do I need to shoot you in the balls to get you to calm down, dude? Is that what we're talking about here? That ain't working. So I'm gonna stop that. I don't know, I've, this thing normally doesn't just charge uh, time after time, does it? I can't remember. I haven't fought one of these in a while. He's a pretty simple creature. If I get some distance between me and him, I could probably... Let's just see. Alright, yeah, if I get distance, I can go sniper stance and be safe. i go one more. Because he's going to do one more and I'll have room to be able to maneuver here. God damn. This thing has lots of health, though. I'll give him that. One more time, big boy. I don't want to be here when he goes again. Oh god, I'm gonna be. Who oh, barely dodged that? Oh. What the hell did he just do? Is he healing? Better not be healing. Here. You know what I think about your sparkly belt you got on now? Take some bullets to the forehead. Oh, shit! Oh, he's almost dead. Woohoo! Alright, 
good he's gone down goes Toby Maguire all right um, guessing that's gonna make another worldly portal oh fuck there's another one Dun shit I'll just drop fuck you cocksucker time to leave I hope This has potential to get ugly quickly. I don't like that potential. I want to scram Ola before shit hits the fan. Alright. Uh, yeah. Let's get in there before that guy comes and ambushes me. This is going to be fucking terrifying. Um, expect deaths. Lots and lots of deaths. Oh, fuck, he's red. Oh, whoa, shit, holy cow. Alright. Instantly terrified. Hectonshire, you have my respect, sir. Alright, here it comes. This is the type of shit you don't want to witness if you're a human being. This is the stuff nightmares are made of, folks. Oh, shit, he just baned me out big time. I definitely thought he was about to behead me. Fucking beheader, fucking Hecatonshire. At least the trolls really aren't much of a problem. They're just kind of there. Damn, this guy's crazy. Alright. Not a friend uh, of yours. Why don't you belch, sir? If your name is Belch, then you should belch. Show everybody what you're capable of. Okay, on second thought, don't do that. Last thing I need to see is your crazy fucking rampaging mode. I have 40 minutes to fight this guy. Um, and only a couple deaths, so if he decides he's going to trample on my body, uh, there's not going to be much hope for me. Mmm, cocksucker. If you can get started on a move to the right before he gets going, you can be alright, but it's kind of scary when you're standing there when he gets the sword glowing and... Oh, shit, he started in... in rage mode? That's interesting. Um, probably should have taken the opportunity to go into start. How about you kill those troll guys for me, dude? I feel like breaking his sword would be a good idea. That, again, that's easier said than done. I most likely will uh, opt to try to kill the trolls with uh, Takemi, just because they still do pose somewhat of a minor threat here as they are. Uh, my foot's itchy, so I'm itching it while walking against the wall. But, um... Choices have it that I should aim at Hectonshire. Judging by all the higher level versions of bosses, that he's going to have a lot of health. So, it's going to make things a little bit more interesting here. I think next time he goes Zerker mode, I'm going to use it and just get a... Uh, Use it as time to kind of avoid his berserker attacks. Uh, still surprised me he started the fight in Zerk mode. Oh, the trolls right there. Oh, damn. Okay. Didn't see that coming. God damn it. 
controls are starting to get in my way, starting to annoy me. Expecting to do the second rampart. Nope, you only did half again. Which I'm fine with. The music for this fight is epic. I'm actually turning it down. I was trying to turn it up. But I'm not looking at my PSP, so I can't really see too well where my fingers are. I love how he just keeps attacking his friends. There he goes. Oh, fuck. Didn't expect him to come around like that. Alright, now. You behave yourself, big horseman. Horseman guy, Barb. These trolls are enough of a nuisance, I'm going to use it now. Fuck, uh, he's not that much of a war of a pain in the ass in Zerker mode. So I'm not going to fret too much about, say, about surviving that. I'm more worried about him trampling me when he's going after my light friend there. Uh, which he might do. Yeah. Get the fuck away from me! Wow. That thing is way too close. God damn, I hate these trolls. So much health. One's down, thank God. Hopefully that one was the furthest one from death. Well, this one appears to be that, though. Get a few shots on... Me! Oh shit! Alright. Now it's even playing field. Me versus Hecht. I know he has more attacks, more dangerous ones, so. I need to be worried about that. This definitely is one of my favorite bosses in the game, though. He's such a fucking cool-looking boss. Oh, god damn. You don't realize how close he's gonna be to you when he does those. I need to be taking more caution. Uh, because if I get trampled, my game is over, likely. I don't have uh, any sacrifice charms, so he might. The five second countdown might save me uh, once. It's only got one continue left. The one thing I don't like about him is his blocking. His blocking is a little bit dickish. The good thing is when you get him bleeding, your chances of getting him before he escapes are pretty good. Okay, good. Only this. Well, there was one half his charge attack. Forgot completely about his, uh... Like, leaping attack. The one where he jumps and goes airborne. That shit scares me. 
I'm pretty sure that shit would one, one hit my ass at this point. Alright. You ain't got nothing on my pickles, bro. Okay. So we're about 26 minutes into this video, which is oh, less than that because I've got to cut the whole uh, booting up of the game out and stuff like that. Alright, pecking away here. Shooting him head on isn't the best idea. He normally doesn't get taking damage, it normally just slows everything down when he's blocking your shots. Alright. You. Okay, whoa, whoa. Like, this guy reminds me of Lord of uh, Shadow of the Colossus. He's just that large. Maybe not that large. He's not on that scale, but he's still a large boss. Large in a good sense. This definitely makes the fight more epic. Hit me with your best shot. I might upload this tonight. I was going to upload maybe some Asura's Wrath, but I'm recording this right now, and I've already got Binding of Isaac up, and I told myself I was going to upload something before I went to bed, something else, so that I could just upload while I'm sleeping. But, um, I'm thinking I might just do this one, if this ends well. And assuming things continue at the pace they are, I might have that shot of being triumphant here. I'm also thinking, uh, rather than grinding after this, I might go give our good friend, uh, the Nidhogg another run, since I've got God's Eye. Plus, I found this item that makes it so that other world portals cannot move. Um, so when they run, they're stuck. One might get used here if he does escape, which I'm okay with, because then... You don't have to go hunt it down, and that's part of the time-consuming thing. The Nidhogg got away three times in that last video, and uh, spent a lot of that time I had that I could have been using in fights, chasing down the portals, which is a big thing that uh, I don't want to be dealing with. Get your popcorn, guys. This fight has not even begun yet. This fight, we still got quite a ways to go. It's still lots of potential for failure because this guy does have some very dangerous moves. Other than discharge, um, I know he has an attack where he leaps into the air. It's a very recognizable uh, sign that he's getting ready to do it, but it is dangerous. Ooh, that was fucking way too close. All right, there, horn boy. The good thing is I never really found um, Hecatonshire to be all that difficult. Uh, so, just an upgraded version so far to this point is about the same thing. I'm still a bit terrified. I don't want to get hit by it. Um, because any wise man wouldn't want to get hit by something lar a sword that large or a man that big. A man horse of that size. All right. See, I'm way too close to him right now because he might opt to go to that other attack if I'm that close. I don't understand how I keep getting my God's Eye orb unequipped. It's weird. It like randomly happens, and I'll be like, "Why can't I lock onto the weakness? They must not have one." Then I'll look at my stuff and be like, oh wait, God Eye was never equipped? What? And for things like Nidhogg, I'm sure it would make a huge difference.
to be able to look exactly where its uh, weakness is and then just peck away at it. Alright brother Bobby. Let's do this Bobby. You got it friend. Alright. Let's fucking kill him. You sir, you have my respect. I figure I have lots of people's respect for playing this game as long as I have. It's such a long game. In the respect of how long the game is and time you'll put into a game, this game is up there with some of the ones I've played. And it's not like I'm, other than the grinding, it's not like I'm just sitting there repeating the same stuff over and over again to grind for parts for armor or something. Not at all. I'm here fighting new things every time I play most of the time. New terrifying things that want my blood. Like this guy, he likes blood. He's not looking at me. Yeah, that's a good normally a good telling sign that he's gonna go into that rage. If he's not gonna if he's not looking at you when he starts the rampaging charging dealy doo doo. Alright, so it's Kemi. Stay away from me, bro. Um, that way, I can feel safe standing over here shooting him with a gun lance. Alright. Pick him apart, broheim. Alright, this could get him to a state where... Let's see if I can break his sword. I don't know if that's worth trying right now. I do know that that is a breakable. And most of the time, breakables break with a couple sniper shots. Um, not so sure about his. The thing is, I'm taking time that I could be using to fuck him up, and I'm hitting his sword hilt, which is only doing one damage. Um, hey. Well, aren't you a welcome guest here? Okay, we got him in blue here. Didn't realize his shield was breakable, too. Alright then, um, yeah. Right now I'm at the point of no return. Um, oh, cock. I don't know why I just screamed that, but I did. Um, I apologize to you who are offended. Alright, here comes enraged uh, Hecatonshire. Let's get the fuck out of the way. Things are going to get real ugly here real fast. Seeing is that when you get him into a raged mode, he's not happy. Um, see those fireballs coming out of his shoulder? That's just scary shit. This is stuff nightmares are made of. Oh fuck, he almost made a full loop around. Oh shit, what did I just break? A shield? Yeah, I did. Okay. Well then. We got Beef Wellington, I guess. 
I'm sorry, Hentenshire, <laughs> don't kill me. I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to stress fracture your shit, man. I didn't mean to break your bacon bits. His sword's gonna break soon, too. I've just got this feeling. I'm staring down a beast right now, and he's just, like, kind of walking at me while I shoot him in the face. He's like, Keep it up, wise guy. I'm like, Huh. <laughs> Alright then, bacon bits. The shield still blocks things, just not as well, I guess. I don't like when he does the full circle. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, shit, there it is, okay. Alright, fucking man. Actually, nice. I got a couple good hits there. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that attack was gonna come sooner or later. I was terrified, though. I was like, "Oh fuck, man!" Did you do it? You changed to a three. I am trying to break his sword. I don't think he appreciates that, but at this point, I don't care what he does or does not appreciate. He is the Hecatonshire. He is the enemy. I'm running out of time. I didn't realize how long this fight's been going on for right now. Going for three here? Yeah, three. Fuck, okay. Alright, well, if it breaks, it'll break on accident. Here comes at least a two. Or maybe a one. A really long one. Alright, get out of the fucking way. Here's where things get scary. He gets enraged and he starts walking at you and... You really don't know if he's gonna jump in the air and fucking try to slam you or... Charge at you and try to break your dick off with a razor sharp knife. Uh, you know, either thing sounds pretty damn terrifying. I feel like this fight is ideal for a gun lance. Oh, fuck. Oh, lord, that was so fucking close to killing me. I feel like I'm in a vulnerable state right now where I can get one shot by, vac uh, by, by vast... Uh, amounts of things. Alright, get out of the fucking way. That thing he just did there normally means trouble, so let's not invoke it. Alright, come on, bro. Alright. If it, it's my birthday, I can cry if I want to. Oh, shit. Oh, way too close. Way too close. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck, that was dangerous. Alright, go nappy nap now, please, Hecaton Shire. You're grouchy, it is past your bedtime. Oh, I'm ballsy. For some reason, I keep trying to kill his sword, and I don't think that's a good idea. Especially with tw uh, the 20 minute mark winding in here. Maybe focusing focused on putting out damage. 
I did get a bit of his shield, but... Alright, you... Alright. Alright. Okay. I figure when it's go- oh shit, here it comes. Here comes Hurricane Steve. <laughs> Made it by that much. I apologize to you, those of you whose ears just died because of that screech sound I just made. But I had a sense of genuine fear at that very moment. Um, God fucking cock! Do I not have potions? Did I not buy fucking potions? Fuck! Please chill out, bro. He's getting to the point where it's getting hard to dodge because he's just fucking relentless. The ones where he follows you is fucking terrifying. He's come right for us! Holy shit. You know you're having a bad fucking day if you're sitting if you're standing in a forest trying to fight this thing. Really, it's it's uh, <laughs> I'm so fucking terrified. Please I take back every Everything I said about you not being too difficult. You're scaring me, man. Okay, you... It's getting to the point where it's so bad that I don't know what way to... Oh, fuck. Let's come back around for seconds and thirds. Okay. Good news is he's going to come out of his enraged state here. Give me some, giving me some shots at prime time. Okay, let's get out. And he really only gets that one fucking charge when he's in enraged mode, which terrifies me. That so far has been the most dangerous thing I've seen in this fight. That charge is just fucking brutal. And I try to dash out of the way of it, it just is not working. Alright. Oh, fuck. Alrighty then. I'll save that for when he goes in rage mode again, just because that seems like the right idea to do here. Yes, and diddly do. I, I mean you. But who knows with how random his charging is, he might just come right after me. Good timing. We're running out of time in this quest, but we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. I got this. I got this feeling. Okay. You want to take it easy, bro? If not, you can always just tell me to fucking suck a dick or something. Oh shit, what are you doing? Uh. Uh. Well, Takemi just completely fucked my cock. And Takemi goes away when you die. So now I'm at this point where the fireballs are more dangerous than everything. Because that was what just killed me there. Ah, oh, 
Uh, Takemi is such a hit or miss thing, especially in this fight. It's so dangerous because he goes into charge mode uh, right at your face, right at Takemi's face. You, you're, you're lined up directly on the other side of him and Takemi's light bulb. Uh, you're asking for trouble. I might die here. If I fail this quest, I'm going to be highly upset. But I knew... Uh, it, the whole thing is, you know, if that fucking griffin fight doesn't happen, I get this quest easy. Uh, barring a time... Uh, failure. Because to be completely honest, he's only killed me once and that was because Takemi. I haven't died, like, as a lack of skill, really, to him. Shit, well, way to randomly go down and not tell me you're gonna do it. Alrighty. Your name is Hecaton Chire. You like beef melt? And you used to live in a labyrinth, but now you're in the forest for some reason. I don't know what you did. Maybe it's just your brother that lives in the labyrinth, and you kind of decided, fuck my brother, I'm going to live in the forest because it's cooler like that. I don't know. I'm coming up, coming up with stories for you. Got just a little bit of time left here. I'm not sure how much health he's got left or how close we are to victory. Um... I don't want to let him get back into rage mode, but if he does, it's going to be kind of scary. The good thing is, with the health I have right now, I can take a bit of a charge. I can take a glancing blow, but I can't get trampled like I had before. And I had gotten trampled, and it was not working. Uh, but anyway. Pro tip. Figure this bomb. Oh, well, so much for not letting him get back to rage mode. He's back and he's angry. Hence the name rage mode. The good thing is that the fireballs land and they go away almost immediately. So they're not much of a threat after the initial splash. So at this point, I just need to be careful, take my shots when they're open. Don't get hit by fireballs. I can take it here from a charge, because I've got potions that I can use to survive. The fireballs seem to do a hell of a lot more damage, though. And maybe it was just because I stood in the fire after it hit. Come on now. Come on now, you big jackass. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, run. Fuck. Ew. It's fucking fireballs, man. Fireballs. Fireballs. And fucking, fucking jelly beans. Fucking jelly beans, man. That's a fucking bat, man. Not really sure about what ways I should be running when he turns. All right, no chances taking here. Have his fucking way. Ride this storm out. Oh fuck! Here we go.
Come on. Bad shot. Here we go, here we go. We got him. I think we did it. Woo! Fuck yeah. Oh, I thought he was going to escape. thought he was going to escape. Man, that was a rush. That was a rush. Oh. <laughs> All right. We're going to get the soul or not? I'm going to get some water. Fuck. Well, shit happens. Who fuck? That was some intense stuff, guys. That was that was is about as intense and great. D. Well, I guess it's because I got my ass kicked early. 3.8 case. I'm definitely gonna have to grind for some via uh, some guild rank. Um. That was great. Whew. I honestly think that's one of the most well, like, one of the best bosses in the game. It just seems like it's... I mean... It's got the right difficulty level to it. It's got... the perfect... amount of difficulty. It's not too hard, but it's not too easy. I did have X potions. When the hell did that happen? All right. I had a fucking mana crystal the whole time. All right. All right. Let's go ahead. Was my bag full? I didn't realize my bag was full. Let's go ahead and drop some stuff off. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and. Should, did I just say my storage is almost full? I'm gonna grab a couple of I don't take damage from Nidhogg. I only the only thing is my time. Um I don't remember what it was, but there was something that kept it from escaping. Alright, well, Next time we're going to go fight the Nidhogg again, so expect another long video next time. We'll see you guys then.